Hi, I'm going to show you how to use a VPN for your computer. Uh, a VPN is a um, virtual private network and people use it for a variety of reasons. Um, they use it to protect their internet connection. Uh, a VPN will typically encrypt all your um, data. Uh, it'll mean that you're not, you're, your privacy is completely protected. Your ISP, for instance, hasn't got logs of everything you do online, which they do normally. Uh, if you're using a VPN, you're hidden from um, those sort of logs. People also use them for accessing remote um, sites. So, for instance, let me just demonstrate quickly. Uh, I want, say, I, I'm in the UK at the moment. Say, I want to go and watch Hulu, which is uh, an American <coughs> media site. You'll get something like this message when you try and access it. Sorry, our video library can only be watched from the United States. Because I'm in the uh, UK. But if I enable a VPN that's based in the US, for instance, I'll be able to watch Hulu. Same goes for BBC, ITV, all the UK TV stations outside UK. You can't watch them unless you use a VPN. And many, many other countries across the world, Canada, Australia, most of the European countries have got stuff like this. So let me show you enabling my VPN and then we'll nip back to Hulu and um, try it out there. Okay, now the one I, the VPN I use on my computer after testing literally hundreds of these is the one I've used for many years and it's called Identity Cloaker. It sits in my taskbar there and I use it whenever I want. Um, it's a very powerful program. Um, you just enable it like this. At the moment the VPN isn't active. But you can see it sits in my taskbar and if I want to connect to something I can pick any of these servers all over the world. Now let's just demonstrate I was just blocked from Hulu. Let me go and find a US server and I'll enable the VPN on my computer. There we go. I um, blur out these IP addresses because it's best to keep them low key, keep them private. Then you don't get services blocking access to the IP address. You can see here I've got encryption level. I can modify that if I want. If I'm just going to stream video, hey, there's no real point streaming. Um, uh, encrypting the the stream, I could put it down to none, but I'll stay. I'll keep it as secure now. So I've got a UK VPN enabled on this computer, and maximum encryption. So let's just go there. Uh, let me just start another browser. Here we go. Here's Firefox, um, and let's go back to Hulu. So here's Hulu. You can remember I got blocked before. Um, this time I've got a US VPN enabled. Um, so it looks like I'm in the US. Okay. So normally I, I would get this message here saying I can't access it. But because I've got um, the US in enabled, I can access anything. Let me just stream something to show you how it starts. Here we go. Um, let's just try America's Got Talent. You can see normally I would have been blocked ages before this. Um, here I can actually connect through. I could actually get the, the full subscription as well if I wanted to. I just use the US VPN when I'm accessing. See this is going to play. It'll get the adverts and everything. Um, but it works perfectly um, and it's because Hulu thinks, I'll just stop this, um, because Hulu thinks I'm in the US because I've got my US VPN enabled. If I switch to France, I could watch French stuff, Canadian, Canadian stuff, UK, UK stuff. Um, it's very, very useful. You can actually use the software on all the devices as well. This is the PC version. Um, you can also set up the VPN on things like uh, tablets, iPads, iPhones, even smart TVs if you've got the um, facilities to do it. Or you can set it up on your router and make a VPN connection that affects all your devices. It's great to use. I can recommend it. It doesn't cost much. There's a discount code that I'm going to put on my screen. Um, hope you enjoy the video. If you've got any questions about Identity Cloaker, I do know it very, very well. Um, just ask them in the comments section. I'll be happy to answer them. Okay. Thanks for watching.